Well, we just rolled in off the interstate. That's good. No, that's bad. How come? Well, because I was running on fumes and barely made it into the gas station. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. How come? Because I found out we were in Bulls Gap, Tennessee. Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. How come? Because I was supposed to be in Knoxville about an hour ago. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. How come? Because I found out we were on Archie Campbell Highway. Oh, that's good. You're darn tootin', that's good. <laughs> to give you a little hint where we're at, we are in Bulls Gap, Tennessee. Yes. The one and only. I love this place. I know. Such a cute town. I'm so excited to show you guys, share yeah. this with you all. Absolutely. And if you like Archie Campbell like we do, you're going to like this video. So. Yes, and you should give us a thumbs up yes. and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our fun adventures. Absolutely. Let's get on the road. All right. And here we are on the aforementioned Archie Campbell Highway. Yes. Okay. In Bulls Gap, Tennessee. Bulls Gap, Tennessee. I love that name. I know. It's such a cool name. And it is in Hawkins County. Do you know how it got the name? No, and I was hoping you'd tell us. The town was named for a famous gunsmith, John Bull, who made his home in the Gap of the Mountains. So it was called Bull's Gap. Well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I was way off. I thought it was about some cow, you know. <laughs> Real bull. Horn. And it was actually settled in 1792. So it's a pretty old town, even though it was not incorporated until 1955. Wow, 1955. Yep. yep. That's Man. when it was incorporated. That's after Archie Campbell left, I guess. Nah, I guess so. Pretty close to it anyway. Yep. Here's the uh, racetrack that's here, too. A lot of people remember this. Yes. Speedway, the Speedway. It is the Long fastest speedway. dirt track in America. That's what they claim, anyways. Yeah, Long Tour Speedway. A lot of people come down here to watch the races. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, uh, just down the road here is Yoder's. And that's a good little market. We'll try to stop in there if we get any oh, yeah. kind of time. Sounds good. Oh, so that we got here. Oh, yeah. The 2019 population estimate was 721. Down just a little bit from 738 in 2010. Okay. Yeah. But it stayed about that number throughout the decades. So, hasn't changed a whole lot. It hasn't changed anyways. a whole lot. Population wise. Yeah. I love that name, but Bulls Gap. He, Bulls Gap has an awesome name. Yeah. Archie Campbell used to mention it, reference it in a lot of his work, too. Oh, that's so, neat. Yeah, he was yeah. a great stand up comedian, and uh, of course, he worked on Hee Haw. Yeah. That's where most people know him from. Yeah. By far. I thought it was interesting, too. Late in his life, he uh, took up painting. There was a lot of his paintings around. Oh, that is really yeah, he cool. Used to, he sold them off. Yeah. He was on the Grand Old Opry a lot, too, right? I think so, but he, yep. was, he had a place down there in um, Pigeon Forge. He was the one that started the, what's now the Comedy Barn. Oh, okay, yeah. I, yeah, that's all right. I used to frequent that place. Did you? Mm-hmm. Comedy Barn. That was pretty cool. Long, it's a really good there. show, you yeah. know? Oh, yeah. Here's the odors right to the left. We'll stop there if we get a chance on the way yes, back. Yes, that looks awesome. Yeah, country we'll market. we have to do that. They make sandwiches in the back and everything. Ooh, Dutch meat and cheeses. Yes. Ooh, I hope you brought me a cooler. I was say we might spend some time in here and money. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so right around the corner, like I said, it's not a very big downtown, but... Show it up, show it off here in just a minute. All right. Well, it's a beautiful day. It, be it is winter. a very beautiful day. I'm ready for spring. Yeah, me too. I get a taste of this, then we'll get hit the big blizzard probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very true. So the downtown area is actually part of the National Register of Historical Places. Cool. You'll see why in a minute because it's really neat. Yeah. I hadn't been by here, so. Yeah. There's also a Civil War battle that was fought here in November 1864, the Battle of Bulls Gap. It was a Confederate victory. So, a lot of Civil War history in our little area. Yeah, there is, surprisingly so, you know. Yeah. A lot in these small towns, too. Yeah, at least almost every time you turn around, there's one of them had at least a skirmish or some sort. So. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Blue Smoke Tavern. You ever heard of that place? No, I hadn't. I have now. Okay, so let's just keep on the truck, and there it is. Welcome to Bulls Gap, so there's actual, I guess, town limits. Yep. But I consider all that off the interstate Bulls Gap. Yeah, yeah. Well, we saw that Archie Campbell yeah. highway sign, right. so that's good enough for me, ain't it, you? It absolutely is. I bought his autobiography a few years ago off eBay. I haven't finished it yet. I've read about half of it. Oh, okay. It's really good.
good now. Well, that's about normal for you, one book no, in three years. I was about to say, well, yeah, I can get past the first three pages is pretty good for me. <laughs> and this is off 11E, e. you just saw the sign for that. Dollar General, you know you're getting, well, actually, you're not close to anything if you see a Dollar General, are you usually? Uh, they're everywhere, so. Bull Scott Medical Center. Campbell's Pharmacy, you'd have to think that's probably some kinfolk. Yeah, that's all the dairy dream back there. That's awesome. Sounds like they probably have good ice cream. Yeah. Up it. <clears throat> so I know we did the that's good, that's bad, but he also was well known for doing what's called spoonerisms. Are you mm -hmm. familiar with those? Yes, a little bit. Yeah, it's a little tactic that they do that where you swap first letter of words, almost like pig Latin, but a little bit different. Yeah. For example, he told the biggest one he told that I remember was render sala. Yeah. You, know, you made it pran some hens. Yeah. You know, fuglet. Oops, mugly other. That's what I said. <laughs> mugly other. Yeah, that's funny. Or was it mugly stepmother? So I guess your name would be Shane Simmons. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Don't work. Wait, 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 don't work on mine. <laughs> Had some sad blisters, I think, it was just in there too. I think some blisters. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm trying to piece it together. That's a little harder for me to try to keep straight. Okay, we'll turn around here and actually go to the downtown part. I just want to show the outskirts. Yeah. Pretty little farm country, it looks like. Yeah, it is. Pretty little farm country, you know. I'll bust a tire for you. Yeah. Well, we skipped that turnaround for you, and one good sneeze from Melody. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be the only witness to that, I guess. <laughs> you okay? Yes, I am. I don't have little dainty sneezes. I got big <laughs> sneezes. <laughs> You did big sneeze energy, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh. We can ride here and go to the downtown park where the town hall and the museum is. Got their little post office. Yeah. There's a big family dollar, too. You don't see so many of those. That's real big in the middle of town. That's usually the Dollar General. Yeah. So it looks like you're driving off in a residential community. Are you sure we're going the right way? If I hadn't done it before, I wouldn't swear to it, but I, <laughs> I have done this one before. All right, then. They got the old home place of Archie Campbell down here, too. They moved it to right beside Town Hall. Okay. Is it a little museum, or is it There's a museum, separate? and a the house is just a little bit separate from each other. Okay. So, not to mislead anybody. Yeah. I like these old farmhouses and all that stuff. Ooh. We only have a fella right here. here. Very friendly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so there it is. Yeah, we'll get back and get a better look at that. Yeah. Drive down here. And... Oh, that little general store was cute. Oh, on the yeah. left there. Yep, yeah, actually they got a railroad museum here too because this was a big major railroad stop and they okay. still got this building here. I hope they can do something with it. Man, I love trains. I love seeing these train tracks right here in the middle of the town. Yeah. Just being so close to it. That brick building was a big hotel, it looked like. We'll still has it on the door, hotel. We'll go back by that way. I hope they can fix yeah. that thing up. That would be really neat. Little Man, that would be great. Nice to see. It's right on the railroad tracks. Yeah. A lot of people staying might not like that, but... It'd be a different experience, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we'll turn around here when we get a chance. It's like showing kind of how people live out here, too. It's pretty rural. Yeah, I can tell. I like it. It's a cute little town, though. Yeah. It is. I feel peace about this place. Yeah. Any, if it's good enough for Archie Campbell, it's more than good enough for me. That's right. He's a big fan he has when I was a little kid. I just loved him. Yeah. He's always been in that barber shop. He's funny. Yeah. And not too far from Pigeon Forge. 
storage here, I guess, are we? Not really. No, and that's... I don't, I don't know if you saw that bird up there. It looked like a condor or something. I never seen anything that big. Uh, no, I didn't. We'll turn around and stop in the middle of town and take a look around that. Okay. When I get a chance. And that's probably not my best chance. No. It's really pretty country out through here. I like, like it. Yeah, I do too. Like you said, it's very peaceful. Yeah, it's just got a good vibe about this whole place. Yeah. name, I guess. this video for violence. Yeah. County Line Road. If you started it, I'll finish I it. Don't know. <laughs> so this is called South Main Street. Wow, this is Main Street. Oh. It's not your typical Main Street, is it? Not this part. Looks like some buds are starting to form. Yeah. Like you said, a good snow will probably still hit and wipe all that out. Yeah. Usually I look at these places and the population seems off on me, though. This seems about exactly right, doesn't it? Yeah. You could definitely see that. So. So. We'll so there on the right is that hotel, old hotel. Yeah, it's kind of closed cool. off. I'd love to get over and look, but they got the rope up or whatever. It was the Smith Hotel. Smith Hotel. Yeah. It says, danger, do not enter, and they actually have some things up. Oh, and there's Gilly's Hotel. So it must have been two hotels attached. Oh, wow. That's pretty interesting. I'm surprised to see that glass intact, intact too. Yeah, I know. Well, that's what I was going to say, where it says that. You'd think that it's probably in some pretty bad shape, so. Well, if they could ever fix that up, though. Look, at they got a great place down through here. It could be a little mini, uh, good little place for people to come, you know? Oh, yeah, I love it. I would love to come down here and stay. Oh, yeah. And there is the community center, yeah. old general store. Well, we'll sweep through here and then jump out and, and show you a few things. there's the Archie Campbell Museum and the Bull Gap City Hall. Yeah. So yeah, let's get out and show them. Let's do it. There's the Bull Gap Museum, Archie Campbell Museum. Yes. So let's check it out. What do you say? All right, I'm excited. All right, we just walked into the museum here. Mm -hmm. I'll show you a little bit of that. Got a lot of tools and old. Things you might see somebody use on the farm, isn't it? Mm hmm And a few things you might see hanging over your head at the Cracker Barrel, just like that. <laughs> yeah. Sickle. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that. The most, the most dangerous stuff. Yeah, you yeah. are a little bit. And then they got just some old throwback stuff here, too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's keep on looking. Very cute. I think this is cool. This is right outside of where we are right now. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, ain't that pretty? York Quillen. General Merchant. Major Mohawk, Mohawk, Tennessee. Bulls Gap Theater. Mm -hmm. So they got all kinds of little knickknacks to remember. And this guy's ready for COVID, I guess. Yes, he is being safe. Yeah. Looks like your typical farmer, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Where's he got that hand? Somebody's missing a hand. Yeah, it's kind of, I don't know if that's a 
<laughs> he seems to have good spirits about it though, doesn't he? Oh no, he seems like he's in pain a little bit. Yeah. He had kind eyes, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> well, this old gal, she's ready too, so. Yeah, they look like they could be extras for uh, Blazing Fury at Dollywood, don't they? <laughs> And don't jump on my, uh, my hand. I'm a week <laughs> yeah. back. I got a week back. Now, my wife. I'm missing my hand. I'm missing. No hand or not. Missing hand or not. Like, <laughs> here I come. Right. Some old pictures, some old throwbacks here. And here's that. Yes. With a throwback to the railroad days. Yeah. You can see there it says Gillies Hotel. I guess Southern Railroad right through here. Mm hmm. And there's a fire extinguisher. I don't think that's part of the museum exhibit, is it? It's just safety. Just safety. Safety okay. first. Okay. Yeah. And there's the general store. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. So this is considered again the Archie Campbell Museum as well. So. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, look at what we have here. What we got? A little steel. Mm -hmm. Little baby steel. A little baby one. Easy to hide. Easy to hide. <laughs> <laughs> Would be, wouldn't it? Just got a criminal mod. You do it, don't you? There you go. I'm like, Bunch of you're leaners. rubbing off on me. I gotta mess with stuff. I know. I don't probably need to. If I had a free hand, I'd do it, don't you? <laughs> okay. We already signed in. Yes, we did. Well, there you go. And I love these quilts. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I missed that. I saw that. Yeah. It says Archie Campbell, Bulls Gap, Tennessee. How cool. And I guess it's in memory of him. Yeah. A lot of work and love go into those quilts. Yeah, they're no joke, are they? It's not something you can just do half heartedly, is it? No. So then you got a lot of. Civil War history. I know you talked about it on the drive. There's, mm -hmm. there's, of course, there's back there. It's Dr. E. M. Meyer's office, so they got some medical. Mm-hmm. Old memorabilia. wheelchair. Yeah. Look at a radio over there too. You keep threatening to put me out. You're gonna be sitting in that. <laughs> <laughs> and here's some old Civil War stuff. Yeah. So what else they have? So kind of got it in a little bit of a chronological order, it seems like. Yeah, I think so. so. It says response from General Eisenhower to Hazel Grigsby regarding a congratulatory letter she sent him during World War II. Well, mm -hmm. There's some World War II memorabilia here. And I just love this. A lot of bull. A the lot history of bull. Of oh, yes. Yeah. So there's the John Bull family, and this here says in 1792, John Bull, which was a gunsmith, received a North Carolina land grant for 55 acres of land on Bays Mountain near an important east-west passageway over the mountain. Bull operated a stage line through this passageway, which become known as Bull's Gap. All right. Yes. I think I said mountain. <laughs> <laughs> We're both we're getting rubbing off on each other at that stuff, aren't we? I know. Got tongue tied. Yeah. So we got some more military stuff. Yeah. And Paratrooper. An old Jack. fiddle. Yeah. And here's what I've been waiting for. Yes. Some Archie, Archie Campbell, Campbell stuff. Yeah, there's a hee haw board game down there. I think you got that, but I did not I missed that, I think. It's pretty cool. Like yeah, board game and then no Archie Coke comes home. Comes home and then, oh, I love it. Yes. There you go. The yes. barber shirt, or the doctor shirt and the barber shirt. Well, there you go. Archie, he's home. And he was the barber when he did his that's good, that's bad, and squareism. So. Yeah, exactly. So we are seeing it right here. Yeah. We're that close to greatness. <laughs> I just loved Archie Campbell. He was just such a good guy, he seemed like. I such know. Man, and he was a terrific artist. Yeah, the comedian and artist. He was a very talented man. So. Yeah, I would love to take some of this home with me. I, I really would. It, it reminds me of home. It's like he's painting my yes. home. Yeah, like you said a little bit earlier. I'll give you the credit. You can tell his heart was really at home. Yeah, and his all his work. I mean, you know, the guy, wealthy, and well-known, famous guy, and then yes. but his, he never left East Tennessee, did he? Right. His heart didn't. His heart or his art. Yeah. 
I mean, I swear, I have all these pictures just look like so I've been there. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know. I know, me too. And like Dolly, I mean, I'm sure he's like Dolly. He probably had a humble upbringing here, but it's just simple, beautiful times. It's centered around family and nature and home. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's what makes people good storytellers and good singers and musicians a lot of times is they didn't have a lot of options, so yeah. they practiced what they were oh, yeah, really good sure. at. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because he was just a fantastic storyteller. Oh, never, yeah. Never catch him with... That's like my family. They were all such good storytellers, and it was because that's what they did to pass time, you know? In some ways, it's a dying art, isn't it? It is, yeah. But we're trying to let it live on here. We so. are. Absolutely. I really love this one, too. Day is done. Yeah, that... I love just, what that's called, you know, like just letting the day go and relaxing, being at peace. I think this one's my favorite, though, a place to come home to. It's just so nice, beautiful. Awesome. But I love this Lazy Days, too. I just, oh, I I just keep it going, you know. Uh, yeah, the next and one. Charlie's Barn. Love that one. Yeah, I like that one a lot, too. <laughs> He's just such a great artist. Yeah, he did it. Buku's of them too. He really just uh, mm -hmm. was a big passion he had. Yeah. So there's a lot of mouth out for sale. Well, like you said about dying art, I mean, you know, so many kids now they just they stay on tablets or phones watching TV, and you don't get to be as creative. Yeah. You know, there's no time to be bored to pick up a hobby or. Yeah. Um, Absolutely true. Yeah. But we have a lot of talent in these here heels. Sure do. Yeah, I'm really proud to <laughs> be able to show some of this stuff off. Yeah, me too. Because not everybody's going to be able to make it to Bulls Gap. Yeah. Ooh, it looks, looks like a golf bag there. So. Yeah, I like those shoes with the butterflies on them. Yeah. I need a new pair of those. <laughs> yeah, we got some shirts down here and a hat. Yeah. And of course. <laughs> more of his art on the wall, it appears. Mm -hmm. And he was named Arch Kimball, honorary mayor of Balls Gap, Tennessee, with a big old barrel here. Mm -hmm. Cool pictures there. Yeah, some pictures. And that's usually how you saw him, with this one with, he's laughing. Yeah. <laughs> he's had a great, great, great sense of humor. Yeah. Seemed like he had a good heart. And apparently he came back too and did a show, him and Junior Samples. And Junior so was cool. a big deal on there too. He died pretty young, but he was on that Hee Haw show. And yeah. The R549 was yeah. his big thing. It's kind of cool they came here and put on the show. Bedtime Stories for Adults. I think that's where that render cella and all that came from. Okay. There's Hee Haw clock. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. We go to a good old bust. Mm -hmm. Can't beat that. Mm -hmm. Hillbillies in a haunted house. I'd love to watch that. Yeah, well, there's Verlin Husky, big country singer. Had Lon Chaney, who was known for horror movies. Hmm. Basil Rathbone. That's kind of weird. Have to see if that's out available somewhere. Okay, that's pretty much a look at the museum. Yeah, yeah. Let's get on out and look at the rest of the museum. Yeah, there's more to see. Alrighty, we're here in front of the Archie Campbell Home Place, up, and it's just right beside the town hall or, uh, that we were just in, looking at the museum. And it's kind of locked up today, so we weren't able to take a look at it. But this was the home place that's been moved here to the edge of town. Yeah. And preserved, very well preserved. You can see in the windows. We'll try to show a little shot of that, but. Talking about Archie Campbell, of course, we knew him as a comedian. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize he had a 35-year career in show business before Hee Haw. Wow. Most people remember him for Hee Haw, of course, but he had a long, he was a stand-up comedian. He had been on radio. He had done all kinds of different things. And uh, the, I guess it all led up to the Hee Haw, which was his uh, piece de resistance. Yeah. His masterpiece. I don't know. <laughs> I'm fishing for words. Uh, but, yeah, that's his old home place here, and it's, he's the pride of Bulls Gap. Yeah. So he was born in November 7, 1914, right here in Bulls Gap. And he was Archie James Campbell. He actually went to college for a little while at Mars Hill in Asheville, near Asheville, I guess. But he, uh, he actually dropped out right before graduating. And he went through Alabama and was what they call a strolling musician. So he kind of mixed music with his great storytelling abilities and comedy mm -hmm. and ended up getting him discovered and he became the legend of Hee Haw and 
talked a little bit on the sign about his spoon resins. Uh, we mentioned earlier about uh, Render Sella, but I love the P Little Thrigs. That's what, <laughs> that was my favorite one, I guess, in hindsight. Like, the P Little Thrigs. <laughs> but he, uh, he definitely was, left a lasting impression because I'm still talking about him 30 some years after his death. So, right. just a great entertainer and the pride of Bulls Gap. And I mentioned here too about him being a painter, and we saw some of his work, of course, in the museum. And he does fantastic work, and much more accomplished than I realized. He had a lot of, a lot of detailed paintings that were, have been captured. So we'll get up here and take a little bit closer look at the actual home place. We'll try to peek in that window. Okay. I would break in if I could, but. He's uh, a joking. <laughs> Okay, so we got a little bit closer to the home place. Let's step up on the ledge. Okay. It? it doesn't say we shouldn't, does it? No. That's what it's here for. Exactly. To look at. To be appreciated. Yes. And guess what? We appreciate it. We do. For the Tennessee Heritage Trail. I'm not sure what that all encompasses, but mm -hmm. sounds good. Take a little peek into the window. A little on the dark side. You can see a bed in there and some picture on the drawer, dresser, and Looks like those might be just three rooms. Looking that way, yeah. So we'll figure a kitchen and yeah. with a couple bedrooms or something, a bathroom. Yeah. But here it is super well preserved. It'll last much longer than we will. Oh yeah. Which is good to see. Yeah, I would peek in the windows, but they got the dead gum curtains up. Yeah. A little privacy. That's, I guess that's okay. And in the back, got some wash tubs. Mm-hmm. Nice little back porch. Yeah. That might have been a double-seater outhouse over there back <laughs> in the day. You just never know, do you? You never know. Because it's locked up. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you don't have to go. Look at that old washer. So. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Old ringer washer, right? Yeah. Boy, I've heard horror stories about people sticking their fingers in this thing. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think getting mashed up. You don't see many of those anymore. Finger in it. Yeah. That would be terrible. That like would on be terrible. accident, I guess, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, snag them and... That sounds like something mm -hmm. I would do. Yeah, it does. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know if I can reach that high. I wish I could. I don't think you can see in it really anyways. Well. We'll find out later, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got no caboose here too. So here's a street view. And there's a hitchhiker. So there's the main street of town. We'll look at that. A little different when you get out of the car versus sitting in there. And then there's the home place, of course. We were just where it at. Let's look at that city hall again, and the museum just to the right of that, and then the old York Quillen and Son General Merchandise Store. I love those old buildings. There too. There's something about them in there. And it says the city of Bulls Gap City Hall. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look in that window, see what it looks like. I get a definite Mayberry vibe, don't you? Yeah, it is very cute. Just a sleepy little town. A little Appalachian town for yes. us. And then they still got some winter decorations up for us in the window. Okay, so we moved our way down the street a little bit and we're gonna give you a shot back up at City Hall. I guess that's the focal point for me for some reason. I don't know. But across the road here is the Bulls Gap Railroad Museum, which is a tribute to the, it says the crossroads of the Southern Railway. Unfortunately, we got here a little bit too late today to check that out. Yes. Uh, story of our life, isn't it? That's it. Another good reason for us to have we're to come back. We're always a day late and a dollar short. That's right. I'm usually about $5 for it. <laughs> Inflation. It's getting me. And then we can make our way down to the old hotel. Yeah, there's a water tower there. It looks like I need to paint that, don't they? Yeah. 
I like that building ahead of us too, that red one. I do too. It seems like it's probably got a good story. Yeah. But the hotel up here known as Gilly's Hotel was originally called the Smith House and it was built after the Civil War as a place for railroad workers and passengers to stay. Um, it was mostly for the railroad but also the community flocked to it too. It was busiest around the 1920s and 30s and they had a barber shop, a large dining room, and it, they said that like people would come and get their hair cut and then go grab some lunch. It was just kind of a hangout spot. And it's then like you a could, hub of town, I guess. Yeah, and then you could hang out and wait for your train to come. Yeah. So it was originally called the Smith House. So R.H. Gilly bought it in 1920 and he added on that smaller, more red brick section and renamed it Gilly's Hotel. So you, as we said earlier, driving through, you can see on a, on that other white door, it says Smith Hotel. I love this glass here still being in there, Gilly's Hotel. You don't I see know, them. I, I can't believe that, that hadn't busted out by somebody. Yeah. I don't give them any ideas, but man, that's awesome. I know. And so it was used as apartments until uh, about 2003. And then the man that owned the apartment buildings become into bad of health. So he had to donate it over to the railroad museum and there's more history in there, but we'll give you a little bit of it here today. Yeah, there's that on the doors you're talking about Smith Hotel and I wish we could get access to it, but obviously it's kind of roped off, so you know, I'm not much you, of a rule breaker. You can tell that there was porches on there cause there's doors on both second floors. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. Let's yeah, I bet it was that. majestic in its day, wouldn't you? Oh I'll yeah. I'll find some more pictures of it if I do, I'll yeah, put it up here now. Yeah, hopefully but. so. It looks pretty glorious still, and here's a red long road. Glorious. Road. <laughs> I love word. That. It's an underrated word. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> I know. I love these old buildings, old hotels, and I do too. This is one that's very much a shame that it, if it ever falls into a complete total ruin, yeah, it's about there. I mean, I don't know that. I read that the railroad museum was able to put a new roof on there, but it was just in so bad of disrepair that they haven't. They kind of got in over their heads financially so and that happens and especially it now does. across the building i mean i can't imagine what it costs to fix something like that back oh, up i know it never so make you, you never recover your money yeah. other than for the fact that it's a big piece of history you yeah. know, that's the biggest thing about it it'd be okay how much is it worth to save a big piece of history well it ain't even about worth it it's just getting the money yeah but well, that's what i'm saying it's like who would you know how can you persuade them that this is priceless to a lot of people. Exactly, yeah. But including us, we love this kind of stuff. But. Exactly, and we love showing you guys. We hope that you love it as much as we do. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Alrighty, it's time to get excited, isn't it? Yeah. We are heading into... Yoder's? Yes, Yoder's. <laughs> Yoder's Country Market. I hate that it puts on the spot. I know. <laughs> I knew we were back with turned. <laughs> let's go check it out. Yeah, let's see what all they have in here. You're gonna love this. Oh, sure. There's some fresh bread, can't beat that, can you? These cakes look awesome. Mm. Did you grab us about three? Yeah, really. <laughs> let's see what they are. Cinnamon roll pound cake. Oh man. That one looks amazing. I wouldn't even thought of that. <gasps> Carrot cake with cream cheese icing. I'm gonna be buying some stuff in here. I'm glad that I brought my wallet. Yeah, good idea. Let's get our breads. And I guess if I make it in here, is that right? Yeah, we think so, yeah. Very cool. With some apple butter too. Can't beat that. Ooh, you know yeah. that's one of our favorites. Blackberry jam. Blackberry jam? Yeah. Okay. There's a little deli back here too. You get sandwiches and whatnot. Yeah. You can get some coffee here if you like. That's always speaking your language, isn't it? Coffee and I'm heaven. <laughs> Sugar 
pure country ham. Canning supplies, baking, mm -hmm. you name it. Even got toys. Very cool. Very cool. Well, that's a wrap on Bulls Gap. That's for sure. That was a good trip, wasn't it? How come? Oh, don't get that stuff right done. <laughs> oh, it's fun. I know. Well, we'll do it all the way home, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. And that would be bad, won't it? How come? I don't know. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this look at Bulls Gap. Yes, if you did, again, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and just give us a comment. Tell us your favorite part. We love to hear from you guys. We'll take anything we can get from you. That's honestly. right. <laughs> Thanks. See you on Thanks.